ask mama is there anything wrong when did I ask her it's yesterday the day before yesterday the day before yesterday is there anything wrong you are seeing in me because I don't want to go to to hell preaching the gospel when my partner who's called my wife still living issues. You understand what I'm trying to say? If you people can reach a level when you are married, you are able to talk to each other. Mama, what is it that you are saying? Mama, is there anything? Can you tell me? I'll also tell you what else. This is something that after I because I don't want to find myself going to hell. I to preach the truth. I want someone who's close to me to, to judge me. judge me. If you are married, you have a wife or a husband. Do this all the time. Don't justify your don't justify your actions. How, how can you, for example, how can you spend the whole week angry and you come and lift your hands? I mean, and now you are with your husband or your wife, you You know, there are some arguments that Christians they do. You find even the papers flying. Argument that can take papers to fly. And you just hear some. Mm, yeah. And then you find it's a husband and a wife. Another one is facing there. The whole night, the whole week. Something is wrong there. Something is wrong. You need deliverance. You need deliverance. You need to check yourself. You need to check yourself. To stop these issues of coming here, worshiping. Your head. When you know there are some issues, fix those issues there. and come here and worship your God. I don't know if you're hearing me. Don't waste your time. There are some people here if we can call their wives and their husbands aside. aside. Sometimes you just see someone says, Now go to the one of 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 the If we can call some people here, <laughs> their wives can say anything. If a wife can say, hey, what's working in Tate? I'm sorry, I can't read, Papa. Let's take this money. In here. <laughs> oh, don't speak about money. How do you know money? Something. Let's go and buy mama this, this. Yes, yes, yes. Buy yes. something for your mom. Let's buy what mom for mama. Mom Which mama? There are a lot of problems. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure in this church here, we are going to have flexibility of the Holy Spirit. You see, me and Mama, we don't have issues. 24 hours, the 24 whole year. Hours. For many years now, my children are here. If my wife says she wants to do one, two, three, you only hear me say, you know, one, two, three. You know, you, you only hear tongues. If she said, I want to do this, listen. Why are you waking? 
we are shuma. Why you work for your family. What is it that you, you are work working for your wife? For when isn't you are it? Your husband, you are working for a wife. So if you want to stop that, when your wife says, "I want to do this and this," and this and okay, okay, all right. All right. okay. All right. Uh, this, you know, she will come and say, "Okay, I want to do this." But okay, what do you think? When I want to hana joa, so what were you thinking? When I want to hana, what do you think? What, what about you? When I want to hana, when I want to hana joa. Your marriage now. I, I want to do this thing. Wow, why do you want to do it? Why do you want to do it? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Already Satan is in there. If you open your heart, you look at the interest of another. Another one will look at the interest of another. You won't you kill each other. You have to look. You forget your own interest you you look at the interest of your husband. You forget the interest, the interest of yourself as a husband. You look at the interest of your wife. There will be no fight. God bless you. Because here there's a lot of fighting that I'm hearing. Let me get one couple here that is fighting come. If you would see worldly alone, I thank you. Only one couple, just be fair, I want to pray for you. This year you will never fight, even next year. So I want to pray for you. I don't want to reveal your secrets. You came here with all your heart. God loves you, lift up your hands. Whatever that is causing you people to fight, Amen. today is dissolving. Amen. It's dissolving. Is dissolving. Amen. Is dissolving. Is dissolving. Stop crying, mama. Stop crying. Today I dissolve it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Uh, I'm still praying with people. You are coming here. Mama, stop crying. Mama, I have prayed for the brother. Ask each other forgiveness and hug each other. Can you hug each other? Amen. God bless you. You will never fight again. God bless you. Please stop crying. I don't want you, you people here. From there, it's over. The past is over. You hear me? Amen. The past is over. Listen. If you always bring the past, you bring the vision. Everybody is born in sin. So we must not allow any past things to come. You hear what I'm saying, my brother? You Amen. hear me? So you people here, God has healed you. God has blessed you. You can go. I know why Satan has entered your house. Why is that not an argument? Disagreements. Those things they call demons to enter there. If you want to overcome, go and ask forgiveness. And everything, even when you are you are right. Even when you know you were right, go and ask forgiveness. As I'm sorry, I didn't want to see this. Even, even what you are saying, I don't do, but ask you speak the truth. Yes, I don't want you to tell me why you are doing this. We are starting January. This January is very good. God loves you. You need to forgive each other. I'm sure you are hearing me. You must forgive each other. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. Because fighting something that repeats itself. It's not easy. easy. My sister, you don't need to cry. You don't need to fight anything that repeats itself. You can see your wife is crying, my brother. Eh? Because it's something repeating itself. We don't want to talk about anything here. Everybody are here. 
you understand you need to forgive each other and this thing will never happen again go love so go love be strong mama be strong be strong sometimes when you marry a person that particular person you find that the way the person was groomed was not groomed the way you were groomed so and you are coming together let's take you you marry a wife who spoiled just give she wants you to spoil her and then now maybe you don't have money to do that you are uh, you know sometimes you marry a, a husband who spoiled also think about both of you are spoiled think about it you understand and sometimes you find that you were born in a family where and sometimes you find that you were born in a family where nobody doesn't ask Forgiveness. The person can insult you, but it's difficult to say I'm sorry. So just say I'm sorry. Just say I'm sorry. Then you are going to be forgiven. Just say I'm sorry. Then you are going to be forgiven. Just say I'm sorry. Then you are going to be forgiven. Just say I'm sorry. Then you are going to be forgiven. Just say I'm sorry. Then you are going to be forgiven. Just say I'm sorry. Then you are going to be forgiven. Just say I'm sorry. Then you are going to be forgiven. Just say I'm sorry. Then you are going to be forgiven. Just say I'm sorry. Then you are going to be forgiven. Just say I'm sorry. Then you are going to be forgiven. Just say I'm sorry. Then you are going to be forgiven. Just say I'm sorry. Then you are going to be forgiven. Just say I'm sorry. Then you are going to be forgiven. Just say I'm sorry. Then you are going to be forgiven. Just say I'm sorry. Then you are going to be forgiven. Now, in Jesus' name. Look at me. This thing must leave you, brother. Look at me, mama. I touch your heart. You are broken, this woman. She wants to leave the marriage, this woman. This woman, she's tired. She wants to leave the marriage. I believe by me coming here, a marriage will be restored. Amen. Mama, you want to, you want to leave? Yes. Huh? Yes. You want to leave the marriage? Uh, you are tired. Yes. Uh, uh, brother, go and ask forgiveness to your wife. Hug your wife. Uh, she's running away. She's tired. She's tired. Uh, this is a very serious issue. I'll see you after church. God bless you. Amen.